I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the hourglass. It now occurs to me that all along you have had unfettered access to the power stored within. You could have taken it, become Keeper of Time, but chose not to. Why? Because I have faith in your vision for this new era. I am content to be its guardian. Thank you, Gareth. It's been eons. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lord Lu Kang. Well, I am glad you are here. You are not one for social calls. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. If you're a god, then cure me! I did not give myself that power. Tarkat is a cruel fate, Geras. As Liu Kang has told you, we cannot cure it. Until your revelation, I felt in control of my destiny. You still are, your highness. My past iteration sounds like a screeching harpy. Many are thankful for the changes I made. Not once have I sought to influence you unduly. Your intentions haven't always matched your actions. <laughs> Was Xiao right after all? Were you pulling our strings? Despite what he believes, I am not a puppet master. In my new era, all beings will have the opportunity to find peace. Whether or not they do, will be their responsibility. For my power only permits me to begin this endeavor. Shang Tsung and Quan Chi again conspire against Earthrealm? What Johnny and Kenshi report should not be possible. You witnessed how I rewrote history. I gave the sorcerers meaningless lives. They should have never gained power, let alone join forces. And your work was flawless. Such would their lives have been, had someone not interfered. When you restarted history. You altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. As my creator, you're to blame for my affliction! It was an unforeseen consequence, Baraka. <laughs> 